All right, it is 50 minutes past the hour on this Friday morning. Hey, we finally made it to Friday. It hasn't been too bad the past couple of days. We've had lots of sunshine out there today. That does change. But first, we're going to focus on the tropics because this is a very, very hot topic of conversation, and it will remain a hot topic of conversation conversation rather for at least the next nine or 10 days. So we have Hurricane Irma out there, a very strong category three hurricane with wind sustained at 115 miles per hour and it's continuing on a westerly track at about 12 miles per hour. I zoomed in a little bit closer because I do want to show you something that's very interesting. With this satellite loop, notice that the eye becomes very well defined and then starts to get filled in with cloud cover. We call this eye wall replacement. It's an eye wall replacement cycle, if you will, because when we do get major hurricanes, they can sometimes develop an outer eye wall and that outer eye wall can replace the inner eye wall and so it looks like it gets filled in with cloud cover but then it starts to intensify once again and the eye becomes well defined. So this is something we actually saw with Hurricane Harvey just before it made landfall. So if you're a weather nerd and you see that on a satellite image and you're wondering, huh, why did the eye kind of go away? That's why it's the eye wall replacement cycle. Here's a look at the track of Irma that's coming in from the National Hurricane Center and it is forecast to remain a Category 3 hurricane all the way through the weekend, so does not show any signs of weakening whatsoever. In fact, overall, it shows signs of intensifying potentially to a Category 4 hurricane by the time we get to early next week. You can see winds will pick up to about 140 miles per hour by the time we get to next Wednesday as it starts to make a turn uh, just north of the Lesser Antilles here. Uh, you'll notice it is a little bit of an interesting track because we get this southern dip here, and that's because we have a big Bermuda High sitting north of this. So unfortunately, with that big Bermuda High, it doesn't allow the storm to kind of go up into the Atlantic and away from land. It actually will help the track go a little bit closer to the eastern seaboard. And as we take a look at our spaghetti models, they're pretty consistent through de uh, day number five. But then we, once we get past day five, uh, they do start to kind of branch out a little bit. But overall, most of the models do keep this somewhere between the east coast and Bermuda. Here's a look at the two models we talk about most often and the ones you probably hear about most often. We have the European model here in the white and we have the American model here in the pink. Now, during the European model's last run, it was actually down towards the Florida Keys, so that's a little bit of a difference here. And as far as the American model goes, for the past several runs, it's had it somewhere between the East Coast and Bermuda, but the landfall positioning has been very, very different. Now, they're starting to become a little more consistent, and this does take you all the way out to next Sunday, September 10th. So. They're starting to become a little more consistent. I will expect that there will still be some discrepancies over the next few days with these two models. But the one thing that has remained very consistent run to run is the intensity of the storm. It does show a potential Category 4, maybe even Category 5 hurricane coming up the coast as we go into next weekend. So that's very interesting to watch. Here's a look at our satellite and radar composite where we are tracking a cold front moving through. It's tapping into some of the moisture associated with Harvey. So we have a few spotty showers that will be moving across the region this morning and we'll actually keep scattered showers in the forecast through the afternoon. You can see it on our future track forecast here that it's not steady rain from start to finish today, just kind of on and off. And we'll actually keep scattered showers in the forecast right through Saturday night and through the day on Saturday. So today doesn't look great. It's not looking great for Saturday either. Keep your rain gear handy if you are going to be out at the American Music Festival or for tomorrow night if you're heading to the ODU game. They take on my alma mater, the U Albany Great Danes. Sunday's looking a lot better. Mix of sun and clouds, temperatures in the mid-80s, and we're looking at lots of sunshine for Monday and Tuesday as everybody goes back to work and back to school.